Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on my September favorites. I'm going to try to figure out a way to film this easily because my room is just such a mess. So bear with me and stay tuned if you want to see. My first favorite of the month will have to be this um, little foundation sample packet that I got from Sephora and it is the Kat Von D tattoo foundation and I only have it in this sample packet as you guys can see but I used the crap out of it. It is an amazing amazing full coverage foundation. My favorite full coverage foundation is the Makeup Forever HD. I've talked about this plenty of times but this actually beats this. Um, I don't know what it is about it but I am obsessed with it. It's called Lock It Tattoo Foundation and this is in light 48 mm -hmm. so like I said it is just absolutely amazing. I can't explain to you how the finish is because I can't even show you because there's none left but it is just such an amazing foundation and I love the concealer as well I'm not a huge full coverage person but when I go out or if I'm filming this is perfect so um, it's not what I'm wearing today but it is really really good so that's that the second thing I want to talk about is this OCC lip tar in nylon the name on the back rubbed off if you can see there's it doesn't say it on there but I talked about this in one of my hauls. It is what is on my lips right now, and it's in a couple of the pictures that I Instagrammed. Um, I wore this to the MAC Marilyn Monroe preview party premiere thing that I went to, and everybody at MAC, all the workers, all the people there were like, oh my god, what color is that? Like, what are you wearing? That's not ours. Like, they knew it wasn't MAC, and I was stupid. I should have worn a MAC lipstick to the party, but I'm an idiot, and I didn't think of that. But um, one of the guys thought, the guys that worked there thought it was Girl About Town with, like, a gloss over it, and then the girl was like, are you kidding me? That is not Girl About Town. One of them actually said it looks like Candy Yum Yum, which is what this is apparently a dupe for, according to Leisha X Barkage. So, again, it is just this really gorgeous, gorgeous, like, pink the lighting is definitely washing it out um but i got so many compliments on it it's 16 dollars for a i don't know if it's limited edition or not but it is amazing and i highly recommend occ lip tars next favorite is this dove leave-in detangler not leave-in sorry detangler and it just looks like this it is the hair therapy nutri solutions with argon oil in it and it's just amazing it definitely detangles all my ends I've used kind of quite a bit of it because um, at camp I was like showering a lot more I mean not showering a lot more I shower every day but washing my hair a lot more than usual because I was just sweating and hiking and doing a lot of crazy things highly recommend this leaf tangler if you guys are looking for one um, because your hair is tangled Duh. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this Milani Tantastic Bronzer. This is definitely very similar to the Lorac or Lorac one that looks kind of like this. It is like a baked body bronzer or something like that. I don't know. I don't have that one, but I swatched it in Sephora, and it definitely reminds me of this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer. What I like this for is kind of putting it up here when I'm going out or um, contouring with this. Definitely not, not the type of bronzer that you should put on your face, like full face, because it is very shimmery. So I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. If you can see, it kind of reminds me of Max Gold Deposit mixed with Max um, Soft and Gentle. Wow. Okay, see there it is. It's very goldish. I will swatch it right here. So it's not good for the whole face, but it's definitely good to contour with. And this is in the color Fantastic Sun Glow all over face and body. That's what it looks like on the back. Okay, next product is this Vitamin C Facial Serum. I've, I've talked about Ole Henriksen, Ole Henriksen, whatever his name is, uh, quite a few times. I absolutely love his skincare line. It is my all-time favorite. This stuff is literally amazing. It is, I think, pretty expensive for a small bottle, but I actually got this in my 7 Skincare Sensations package that I got at Sephora for like 40 something dollars. And um, this stuff is just incredible for your skin. You put a little bit of the serum on and you will wake up and your skin will look amazingly healthy. It's not necessarily at, um, aimed towards acne prone skin. Like it's like I don't know if it will cure acne if you have really bad acne because I don't um, but it just makes my skin look so healthy. Every time I wear it people are like oh my gosh like what are you wearing and it's not even makeup. It's, it just makes your skin look so flawless. I kid you not you will not regret this purchase um, unless it breaks you out which 
if you, I have sensitive skin, it doesn't break me out, but if it does break you out, don't get mad at me. But if you are looking to invest in anything to kind of make your skin look more tight and more alive and just beautiful and younger looking, this is the stuff. It is um, the Truth Serum Collagen Booster by Ola Henriksen, and I will put the link below to the reviews on Sephora.com. has amazing reviews, so I definitely recommend this stuff. Um, next stuff I've been loving is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer, and the reason I love this is because it is tinted, so it actually comes out a little bit brown, but I kind of like that because I do not self-tan my face. I don't really self-tan at all, but if I do, I don't self-tan my face ever, so it is kind of good to give a little bit of... Um, warmth to it I guess because I also don't put too much bronzer on I'm not really a big fan of bronzer but um unless I'm contouring but this is it up here and it looks a little odd when you first put it on but it rubs in and it just makes the f most flawless face it makes your pores look smaller and it just goes on so smoothly and it just gives you your face a really good canvas to put your makeup on over which is exactly what a primer is supposed to do and it does have SPF 20 in it but I do not find that that affects my pictures or my videos because I'm wearing it underneath today and I've been wearing it a lot and it doesn't make anything look weirder or anything maybe because of the tint um, it says supercharged foundations, bronzers, and bare skin with this healthy glow. So I really like this stuff. Um, if you're in the market for a new primer, definitely check it out. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is, if you guys can see, it does not come up right on camera at all. My cam This is how bad my lighting is. It is washing out my red so much. I have pictures, if you guys saw my recent um, video where I said new hair, I have pictures. This red is bright. It's coming up very like maroonish on camera, but... It is a really bright, bright red, like apple red. So I am trying to take care of it. I did, ha I do have black hair. So if you guys want a video on how I got the red in it, I will do that for you. If not, I'm not going to waste time if no one is interested because there's so many videos on YouTube about it. So what I've been using to take care of the red parts is this shampoo and is by Giovanni and is brand Color Flage, Remarkably Red. And it just looks like that and it just says that it's good color care shampoo and it obviously is sulfate free which is very very important when you are coloring your hair just to um, it will strip your hair's color so this is really good I actually got this because the place in New York City that I got it called Ricky's didn't have riveting reds which people told me is what's good for well YouTube told me what's good for red in your hair but someone commented in my other video saying that that didn't work for them and this stuff is amazing it's not color depositing it's not a red shampoo it's like this pinky color if you can see but um it's still really really good and it smells amazing and I got the conditioner as well but I haven't used that as much I've just been really loving this sulfate free shampoo so next favorite is this rosebud salve I have been having really dry lips lately and I do use my lip scrub which if you don't know what that is you can look in the info bar I'll link my lip scrub homemade remedy it's not really mine but it's just a bunch of stuff I mix together I'll link that below this is amazing I put it right over it and it keeps my lips moisturized I'm not a huge fan of the smell of the smell of this it smells like a like a real strong rosy garden but um, I've used quite a bit of it it is amazing for um, just smoothing your lips out and just making your lips moisturized so I really have been loving this the next thing I've been loving is this NYX the curve liquid liner and I just talked about this in a recent haul used it one time and it made favorites that's how bomb it is it is amazing it's just this little liquid liner that looks like that but it gives you this like um, kind of like rest for your finger and it just makes it so much easier to apply if you guys struggle to apply liquid liner hands down get this um, it's like maybe eight dollars at Ulta but I got it on sale because the day I went things were on sale and my ex I don't know why that's awesome but I would pay the full price for this I don't even know what the full price is I want to say between eight and ten dollars but it's amazing this is the best liquid eyeliner that I've ever ever used in my life and no I'm not sponsored by my ex just so you know. Next favorite is actually a kabuki brush by a brand called Beauty Sparkle and I had never heard of them before but they contacted me and they wanted to send me this kabuki brush by them and at first I was kind of hesitant because I had never heard of them but they said that I would really love it and they didn't say I had to do a review or anything so I just decided one brush why not and they also said that they would include one to give away to my viewers so um, that's kind of why I wanted to try this out. I actually love it. I have never heard of them. It's beautysparkle.com. Um, I will put the link in the below bar so you guys can can check them out and this is what the brush looks like it is a really kind of big kabuki brush it's like not huge but it's definitely not mini and I will compare it to the kabuki brush that I use now so it's kind of like big this is like a mama this is like a baby this is the elf one and the elf one as you can see it has a lot of like hairs like coming out of it whoa 
uh, Kabuki Crash. And this is it compared to the e.l.f. Kabuki Brush, which is bigger, but wider as well. So this is pretty dense, and this is definitely not as soft, even though I do like this for patting eye powder. This is really, really good just to set your makeup with. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. Watch my hands. That is something that doesn't happen with a lot of brushes. It is so freaking soft and it's just like looking at it. You can just tell how soft it is as opposed to a brush like this. It doesn't have that same effect. Well, it kind of does, but it's not as soft. This is soft. I love this brush, but this is just literally like so beautiful. This is what I use to set my makeup with my favorite setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier setting powder. It just looks like this. Um, I love this stuff, but it is kind of pricey for a setting powder. So if you guys don't want to spend a lot, the e.l.f. one works pretty much this as well. I just love this. This is just my favorite one. But I just dip the kabuki brush in there and then kind of just put this on my face to kind of like give it a flawless finish and it makes it, it sets it perfectly. If you guys are interested in trying this out as well, they did send me one in a little package, like a hot pink red color, which is really, really pretty. And mine is like a baby pink. So if you guys want to try this out, just leave me a comment below um, saying anything. You could just say, hey, good video or hey, bad video. No, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. Um, but just say anything or if you want to say, hey, I just want the brush, you can, that counts too. So just leave a comment on below. You can only enter once and I'll leave this running for about a week. So in a week from today, I will announce the winner and I'll write the date that that will happen below because I don't know when this will be up edited and uploaded. It is US only, I'm sorry, but I do have a giveaway coming up that will be international. So um, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, if you want to win this, just comment below. And that is it for my beauty favorites of the month of September. Really quickly, um, two artists that I've been loving are Hunter. Hayes. Uh, Emmy Galaxo mentioned this in her video. I don't know what it is about him, but every single song by him, it just touches my heart. I am obsessed with him. Um, yeah, you just have to listen to his song. The song Wanted is my favorite song in the entire world right now at this moment. So I just wanted to include that in there, give him a little shout out. And then I just wanted to talk about my two favorite shows at the moment. Number one is The X Factor. I love, love, love that show. I never really watched American Idol and I haven't unfortunately gotten into The Voice yet, but I love The X Factor and I love all the judges. Demi Lovato is amazing and I love Britney Spears obviously and then Simon and LA are awesome. So it's just a really, really amazing show. I am obsessed with so many of the contestants. It's ridiculous and I feel like I'm going to cry when some of them get sent home. Um, I have been brought to tears by so many of the performances recently on the show and that doesn't really happen to me that often but I am kind of a sap so yeah I don't know what that says about me but you guys watch it comment below on who you think is gonna win or who you think is gonna go home first or who your favorite is my personal favorite is Carly Rose Sonnenclair she sung feeling good by Nina Simone and she killed it um, she's 13 and even if you guys don't watch it Google Carly Rose Sonnenclair singing at the X Factor audition feeling good 13 years old she is amazing she like it's it's almost like it's not her voice like Simon was like that's not you singing is it and Demi was like no it's not and it can't be her and she was like I promise I promise she's adorable she's 13 so I'm just gonna include Carly Rose and Claire as one of my favorites as well um in my monthly favorites but there are a lot of other amazing people I just I am obsessed with her and she's just adorable and I also really liked the guy that sung with his little boy he sung Alleluia or something like that it was like a religious song and he's a single dad and he brought me to tears so those two are my favorites I'm not sure of his name I really should know it but I don't and I have a third favorite is Johnny Maxwell he is adorable he's 16 and I feel like a pedophile since I'm like almost 10 years older than him but um he's awesome and has a great voice so those are my three favorites and then my last favorite is a show that I recently have been getting into I Instagrammed it a couple times and it is Breaking Bad I have heard so many people tell me to get into the show but I never did I don't know why but I am only on season two I'm like way behind on the bandwagon but I just watch it whenever I have the time online I just have been loving it obsessed with it Aaron Paul is like the love of my life if you guys love Breaking Bad comment below or if you have any other shows you think I should get into when I have free time I would love to I've heard Homeland is amazing and um, Dexter I started to get into Dexter and I got onto season three and then I just stopped I do love it but I just am so much more addicted to Breaking Bad right now so I'm gonna finish Dexter I know the season premieres like tonight so I'm really behind on that but Pretty Little Liars isn't on so I'm catching up on other things so if you guys share any of that in common definitely comment below and if you guys made a September favorites video post it as a video response I would love to watch it 
and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to enter my giveaway. If you guys want to try this kabuki brush, just leave me any comment and I will randomly pick a winner. And see you guys in my next video. And thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Bye.